Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer, and today I'm Gainsplaining Clinic. So this is Clinic. I've set it up as a two-player experience. The only things that are different is the number of doctors that are a university, the number of nurses available each round, the number of orderlies that are available, and the number of specialties that we actually play with. Other than that, the game sets up the same for each player. I have already taken the specialty cards, so this player has a yellow doctor instead of a white one, and this player has a nurse added into his team. So let's get started. The very first thing that happens is each player privately will choose what they're going to do. So this player is going to go for the patients first up, and this player is going to build to start with. So they get flicked over. So the player who is building goes first, they can build up to two different modules. They like the idea of this one. They will also build probably a second specialty. They're going to go for the eyes. I think we'll probably have it for them. So for those two things, it's gonna cost two money each, so four money total. And now they need to choose where to build them. In fact, this specialty is going to get built there, which is going to cost three money, not two. So he'll get rid of that extra money. And this one is worthwhile building just there as a starting point. Okay, we then go to this player who is taking in patients. They have one entrance, so they have two possible patient points. So they'll definitely take that one in because they can deal with him straight away. For the second one, they're going to take the eye guy, even though they don't currently have a position for the eye to be treated, it's probably worthwhile grabbing that guy just for the moment and allow him to get sicker if need be. Okay, we now draw out three extra elements or patients and they pull up nice and close. These go into the number one, by the way, so we know that round one has happened for everyone. This now moves along to the second thing that we're going to do, and each player once again places their things out. Okay, they flick them over, they're both building. So it comes down to here, which means the pink is building first. Pink has a guy sitting in his eye waiting room, but he can't actually deal with that at the moment. So he's not going to worry about that one. He's going to get that and he will also grab another one of these. Now, when you grab another one of these, you can build another supply room, but because he's going to put that one there, he doesn't need to, and he will put this directly above that. No, he doesn't want to do that, he'll put that there. So, that's going to cost him three money. This one down here will cost him two, so it's five money total. Then we go over to the blue player, as blue said to build something, he really wants to get his eye rooms complete. So what he might do is build those two and he'll put them in there and there to complete them. Now that's cost him four money. So two for each of those tokens. Then he thinks it's probably worth his while to put in a conveyor. So he'll put in a conveyor from this point to that point. It must be in a straight line from other conveyors. So that has cost him another two money, three money back. Okay, those tokens come down under the board. We refill the patients. Just nice that the pink player has brought patients in here but hasn't actually parked their cars, so he needs to make sure he does that right from the outset. So we'll place one there and one there. Okay, we move on to the third action. This guy's going to need some doctors, so he'll do that. And this guy's going to need some patients, so he'll do that one. Flip them over. So doctors first. This player will be hiring a yellow doctor. For two money, he comes with a car as well. So we need to park that car. Oh, let's just 
half there, I guess. He can then hire more nurses or orderlies, and he thinks at this stage it's probably actually worth hiring one of the orderlies. So that's one money only. Once again, orderly comes with a car. We'll put that there and see how that works out. Okay, we then go to this player who is getting some patience in. He has one entrance, so he can do two actions. And his actions are going to be to grab that patient, which goes onto the eye spots. That's one of them. And his second action, he might grab the head patient as well as his second action. We then place more patients out. One, two, three. Notice if this line is full when you're trying to add patients that you don't need to add any more to that. Just skip it. Uh, blue should have taken two more cards when he took those two patients in. So I do apologize for being out of order on that. Please, if you're playing this game, make sure that you've got other people watching what's going on with those cards because it's a very easily missed step. Okay, that has now happened. So we move to the moving patients around. This can happen with everyone at the same time but I am only one player, so I'll need to do it for you to get a feel for what's going on. So every person who's out on that sidewalk must be into the hospital, and we count how much movement they're doing. So the orderly is going one, two, three to get to there. The yellow doctor, one, two, so that's five. We're bringing that patient in, one, two, to be dealt with that by that doctor, so that's seven. Then these two are just going to move into the hospital, which brings us up to nine. He will stay looking for a doctor because he don't have a specialty there yet. Because he has this tile, he gets a three savings, so that makes it six with his movement. And we move around the outside track. Then over to the blue player, Blue will go one, two, three, four. He'll leave that guy there to be dealt with at a later stage. So the four movement gets tracked on the outside here as well. Brings that up to there. We then go to actual income. So this guy is treating a single yellow patient. Yellow patients are worth 12 money. That brings 12 money in for them. This patient happily goes on his way back to the pile until he'll take his car with him. This player is also healing a yellow patient, which is 12 money also, and he happily takes his car with him. We then pay for our staff. So, yellow doctors are worth two money, white doctors are worth one money, nurses and orderlies are worth one each, Orderlies, so we're at five money at the moment. Orderlies, now reduce your weight by three, so I'm down to two. And then you're also paying for each room that you have in your hospital. So one, two, three, four, five, brings us up to seven. So this guy is spending seven money. Over here we have a yellow guy, which is worth two. No other staff, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's nine money total. So we pay the nine and take three in. They can then make a choice as to whether to turn that money into points or not. So this guy is going to spend three of those five money to get one point, which is tracked on the inside track. This guy has three money. He thinks it's probably worth his while to actually hang on to it for the moment, so he's not gonna take any points. He'll just push that money over into his bank. I do apologize, I've done that in the opposite order. This guy should have made his decision first, then him. Uh, so going from the bottom to the top of that list. Next up, that goes back to the beginning. We remove the three patients. They will go back into the bag and everything moves up. Three guys back into this bag. Each doctor still at university will get one color better. Then we refill that with one more guy, keeping them in order of red through to white. 
No one's hired any nurses, so those two nurses come off. Every doctor who is in the hospital will downgrade their colour, so yellow will become white. This yellow will also become white. If this player had any doctors there, they would get two colours better and a point would be given to this player, but he didn't, so no one gets anything for that. Any patients that are still on your patient lists get one colour darker. We then flip over any of these tiles that have not yet been claimed, so they're available again for the next time. We look at where they are here, so pink player is in front. Because that hasn't changed, it changes right now. That moves on to round two and we continue about our merry way. So pull all of these tiles back in and move on to the next round. I will leave it there. I think that I've covered the scoring in the second video, so please watch that if you're not sure on the scoring at the end of the game. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.